cauliflower, a versatile vegetable that shines brightly and one you can cook in many ways. Today, on Grandma Bessie's house, we are cooking baked cauliflower marinara, an easy and tasty meal. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. Chopped onion. and minced garlic. Over medium heat, spray a large skillet with nonstick spray and coat it with olive oil. Add onions. Combine and cook until translucent, about five minutes. Add garlic. Stir and cook one minute. Take a moment to give this recipe a thumbs up and share it. Check out our channel for other short recipes and fun videos. Also, subscribe below. This helps our channel grow and keeps you informed on new episodes. Add ground beef to skillet. With a potato masher, mash meat. Cook until meat crumbles, two to three minutes. Add dried spices and fresh thyme. Stir and cook until the meat browns. Five to seven minutes. Pour in marinara sauce. And stir until combined. If needed, pit and chop olives. Stir olives into meat sauce. Stir until they are fully combined into the meat. Cook an additional five minutes. Remove from heat and set aside. Place a small skillet over medium heat and melt butter. Once melted, pour breadcrumbs into skillet and fully coat them with melted butter. Remove from heat and set aside. What recipes would you like to see us cook? Leave your response in the comments below. Grab head of cauliflower and cut off florets. Place florets into a large bowl and break them into smaller pieces. However, keep a few large florets. Pour in a little water. Cover bowl and microwave on high. Two to four minutes. Your cauliflower should look like this. Please remember to like and share this video Stay informed on when we release new recipes. Subscribe below and click notifications. Spray a baking dish with nonstick spray. Add one quarter of meat marinara. Layer cauliflower florets into baking dish. Head side up. Sprinkle on a little cheese, followed by the remaining meat marinara. Top with the rest of the cheese. And breadcrumbs.
bacon oven 30 to 35 minutes. Garnish with fresh basil and serve. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.